Hi there, I'm Helen Daly Fisher. I'm the Senior Manager of the Equality Rights Alliance. Last night's budget was um, an interesting mixed bag. As we all know, no one needs to be told that we've had a rough time um, with COVID-19. But for women, it's been rougher than most. And there's a reason why people are calling this a pink collar recession. We've got real issues emerging from COVID-19 that needed solutions last night. And it was fantastic, therefore, to hear um, the Minister, Maurice Payne, the Minister for Women, say that she understands very clearly that women need to be at the centre of this recovery. Uh, it's very heartening to hear her say that. It was also great to get the Women's Economic Security Statement. Uh, good to see that back after last year's absence. And the measures in it, we, all, we applaud. So we're very pleased in particular with the focus on uh, breaking down the barriers to women having careers in STEM areas. We're also particularly pleased with um, the government taking up our recommendation that they relax the paid parental leave requirements in order to make sure that women don't miss out because of COVID-19. Having said that, what we're looking at again is another bloke-based budget. Bloke-based budgets have been with us since the 1990s, since we lost women's budget statements. As a result, we're now looking at a budget that completely fails to look at any of the deep structural issues that are facing women when we try to engage in the economic sphere. We don't have any um, strong recommendations in this budget, any strong action in relation to housing, which is critical for women, particularly older women who have dealt with the structural inequalities in our financial systems for their entire lives and consequently are retiring into poverty and facing homelessness at a higher rate than anybody else. We don't have anything in this budget about childcare, and that's deeply problematic given that we've just had a very, very graphic um, demonstration of how critical childcare is to Australia's um, general economic health, but also to its recovery from crisis situations. Without childcare, we don't have doctors in hospitals. Without childcare, we don't have police. Without childcare, we don't have ambulance officers because they're all at home looking up for their children. And so it's absolutely essential that we start to look structurally at what childcare does within our economy and the role that it plays both for women and more generally. At the moment, what we've got is a budget that's tinkering around the edges. The intent is good and we applaud that, but we really need to see some strong structural change to the way our economy discriminates against women. And in order to do that, what we need is gender responsive budgeting. It's a process that's being adopted by more than half of the OECD countries at the moment. We used to do it here in Australia. It shouldn't be a big deal to get it back. But we need a budget that's actually for all Australians and that doesn't miss out on understanding the effects of the budget on 51% of the population. Thank you.